Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the yearly cut-off limits for family preference visas. If you are joining me for the very first time, please subscribe, like and share. When you subscribe, please make sure you hit on the notification bell icon. In this video, we're going to be talking about the yearly cut-off limits for immigrant visas. And um, lots of applicants, when they receive emails from the National Visa Center informing them that due to numerical limitations, their processing cannot go on at this time, they tend to wonder what exactly numerical limitations mean. So if you have faced that problem before, then most of this video is for you. Stick around. Welcome once more. What is the yearly cutoff limit? Every year, according to the Immigration National Act, the United States specifies certain number of visas that will be issued to immigrants for the different visa categories. Now, these visa categories are for those who are specified under the limited category. The limited category visas are those that have a cutoff number so when that cutoff number has been reached then there will be no more visas available to be issued most of these cutoff numbers or limitations applies to family preference visas f1 f2 f3 f4 i made videos about the definition like what is the meaning of this type of visas if you would like to know check on the description box below to see the differences in these visas the numerical limitation will actually apply to these visa categories why because there is a certain amount of visas that has to be issued and when that number has been reached like i said earlier there will be a cutoff so no more visas will be will be issued so when you receive an email talking about your case cannot be processed at this time because of numerical limitation this simply means that your priority date has not been reached and the visas that was allocated for that yearly cutoff has already been reached as well now the the national visa center the department of state processes this case according to a chronology so according to how the cases came according to how the uscis processed them according to how the cases were being approved so if your priority date is not yet current that automatically means that you don't have a visa number and you are basically under the numerical limitation now this does not apply to other type of visas that are unlimited like visas for u.s citizens spouses and other relatives this mostly applies for green card holders but one of the categories that applies to u.s citizens with which falls under the limited category is the F4, that's the siblings of US citizens. We talk, I talked about the cutoff number. Some of these numbers that we would like to know when it's being reached, there will be no more visas available, is the cutoff numbers for F4. Yearly, the United States issues 65,000 visas for F4 category, which is the siblings of as brothers and sisters of US citizens. Now, the 65,000 visas are, is for worldwide, so every country india mexico and all other states china there are 65 visas to be issued to brothers and sisters of u.s citizens now if these 65 visas have been issued there will be no more visas available and these visas will only be issued according to the priority date of these applicants you want to take note of this these visas will only be issued according to the priority date of these applicants so 65 visas for f4 Let's look at maybe F3, which is the children of U.S. citizens. It all, it, this or out, but I, I also had to mention, it also applies to um, adult children of U.S. citizens. That's F3, and their minor children if applicable. So let's look at F3. There are 23,000 visas to be issued worldwide for F3 visa category. So when this number has been reached, then there will be a cutoff. There will be no longer visas available for F3 category. How about F2? Spouses, minor children of lawful permanent residents. How many visas are available yearly? Yearly, there are 114,200 visas available for F2 category. F2 category equally is the like I said, it's the, uh, the spouses and minor children of US citizens and the F2 is divided into several types. There is a FX1 which is the 
exempt from per country limit there is the f21 which is the spouses that have been married for more than two years there is the f2a which is the flat rate you know the flat status that u.s citizens lawful permanent residents who are married to their spouses but the marriage is less than two years there is f22 which is the children of the lawful permanent residents so there are 114,200 visas worldwide available for f2a category and when this number is reached then there will be a cutoff and remember uh, the number of their vis the availability of visa visas is only according to the priority date so if your priority date has not yet been reached then there will be no visa available to be issued so numerical limitation basically applies to these cases of limited preference categories so if you if you once received an email talking about lim numerical limitation you shouldn't doubt what is going on always remember to check your um, your case priority date and remember to follow with the visa bulletin like i said the f2 cut the the, uh, the, the the numerical limitation applies to f1 f2 f3 f4 and then the work visas as well because this is like the immigrant um, employment based visas so the limitation equally applies to these types it's like a lottery when the number is reached every year you know they have to turn it around and then wait for the other priority days to come up and so on there's equally the point where they call it per country limit so there is a certain number there's there's a percentage from each of these numbers available to be issued to each country every year which is like seven percent so every country gets seven percent of the total number so let's say the f2a the one 114,000 visas available worldwide each country which is eligible is eligible to get just seven percent of 114,000. But remember, when that country gets that 7%, there's equally something they call exempt from per country limit. So there are certain types that when it gets to a point, this visa category steps in, which is the FX visa, especially for F2A. The exempt per country limit means that they will be limited within the, the, the percentage available for that country. If there's a possibility, their visas will be issued. A brief summary of the video today. Numerical limitations according to priority dates, the, the Department of State works with the chronology according to how the cases were filed, approved by USCIS. Numerical limitations, number available, visa number available, visas will be issued. There is a certain number of visas available for each visa category. When that number is reached, the cutoff arrives. Thank you very much for watching this video. If it is your very first time, do not go without subscribing. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Use the comment section, ask a question, you know. Anything you want to say, just use it in the comment section and I will be seeing you in my next one. God bless you all and bye.